This video will demonstrate strategies for searching in LexisNexis Academic for case law for the Business Administration 305 case summary assignment. It follows the video on getting started with researching case law, which demonstrated strategies for becoming familiar with some of the concepts presented in the case summary. We will begin from the library research guide developed for this class. We'll click on the Legal Information in LexisNexis tab. In addition to providing a link to the LexisNexis Academic Database, this guide provides additional tips and tutorials for searching the database. For now, we're going to click on the link to LexisNexis Academic. LexisNexis Academic is a rich database with wide-ranging content such as news, local, regional, national, and international, company information, and a wealth of legal information. We will be focusing on the legal information. From the search screen, LexisNexis Academic offers a couple of entry points into legal information. In this Look Up a Legal Case box, we can look up a specific case by its citation or by its name. In our previous research, we identified a case that might be of interest to us, International Shoe Company v. Washington, so I could type in the names of those parties to find that particular case. I come up with two results. One looks like it's from the Supreme Court of Washington and then the other one from the Supreme Court of the United States. I'm going to look at that one, the one from the Supreme Court of the United States. And I just click on the link and I come up with the information about that particular case, when it was argued, when it was decided, how it was decided, and some of the issues that it brings to light. Let's go back and start a new search, and we can do that by clicking on the LexisNexis Academic icon. And that takes us back to our search screen. This time, I'd like to bring your attention over to the left side of the screen to another entry point into U legal information, U.S. Legal. Clicking on that shows us a variety of types of information that we have access to. Federal and state cases, Shepard citations, we'll come back to that, landmark cases, Supreme Court briefs, and so on. For those of us with limited experience in legal research, one good strategy for getting started is to look at law reviews. Law reviews are law journals that publish scholarly articles that look at areas of law and explore legal questions. These articles can help you in understanding the issues surrounding a point of law or a legal question. They can also be helpful in identifying relevant and important cases that establish precedents for the case summary you are analyzing. Using the example from the previous video, let's search Lexis Academic Law Reviews for articles related to personal jurisdiction. I'm especially interested in finding law on personal jurisdiction as it pertains to the Internet. Now, I will begin by entering combinations of the words and concepts that I have gathered from the case summary and from my prior research. Keep in mind that this stage of the process may involve much trial and error. You may have to try several different combinations of terms to come up with the results that are useful. I'll try entering personal jurisdiction on one line and then internet on the next line and then I'll click search. I get my results and if you look you'll see I get well over 2,000 results which is a lot to go through. As I look at some of the titles they don't immediately seem to be relevant. So there are some ways I can edit my search uh, to ensure that my results will be a little bit more relevant. To do that let's go up to the edit search option the top of the screen takes us back to our search screen and we're going to try something a little bit different this time. Uh, notice that I'm searching for personal jurisdiction and internet everywhere. That means in the full text of all of the articles in law reviews. I can limit this and focus it a little bit by clicking on this arrow. I can say look for personal jurisdiction just when it appears in the summary of the article. 
If my search term is contained in the summary of the article, it is more likely that this concept is central to the article. Similarly, I could limit my search to uh, those articles that have at least five occurrences of my search term. Now I have a more reasonable set of results. As I look through these results, and I'm getting the citation for the article as well as the title, which is often in all caps here, uh, I'm looking for an article that looks like it could be relevant. And when I find something that looks interesting, I can click on the linked portion of the citation, and that pulls up the article. You'll notice that my search terms are highlighted. As I scroll through and browse the article and read it, I'm again looking for some clues that might help me further my research. I'm looking for terms that might be useful, concepts that might be useful. The other thing that is useful uh, in these articles is mentions of uh, cases uh, that might be used as precedent for my particular case. So as I scroll through here, I see they talk about personal jurisdiction related to the Internet. That could be very interesting to me. They mention a couple of cases, Zippo Manufacturing. Okay, here they mention another case, Calder v. Jones, a Supreme Court case. Let's say I want to look at that particular case. I can follow the notes that are indicated in the article. Right there, it takes me to the list of references at the end of the article that's got a link to that particular case. So I click on it, and it takes me to that case. Notice that this case was decided in 1984. Things may have happened since then that changed the law. If I want to use Calder v. Jones in my argument, I want to make sure that it is still good law. I do this by looking at other cases that have since cited or referred to this one. Other cases may affirm this decision, they may question or criticize it, they may distinguish it from themselves, or they may overturn it. The process of finding out how a case has been treated or cited, positively or negatively, since it was decided, is called shepherdizing. This term comes from Shepherd Citations, which is the premier legal citation tracking tool or citator. In LexisNexis Academic, we can shepherdize a case by clicking over here under the next steps where it says shepherdize and go. An icon will quickly indicate whether the subsequent decisions uh, raise questions. A yellow cautionary icon, as we're seeing here, or a red warning symbol indicate that you should investigate to see what points of law have been called into question or possibly overturned. A single case may involve several points of law, and it's possible that the point of law relevant to the case you are arguing is not the one in question. The case that I shepherdized, Calder v. Jones, has been cited 5,823 times. I don't want to read all of those, but I may want to look at the one that criticizes this case. To do so, I'm going to use this Restrict By menu up here. And I'm going to choose the option that says Narrow Restrict By. When I get a screen there, I'm going to select the box that says Negative Treatment of This Case criticized. I want to see those cases that criticized this case. And then I'll click on apply. And as I scroll down, I see the one decision uh, that criticized this particular case. I can read it and determine if the criticism will deter me from using this case in my argument. I hope that these tutorials will be helpful in getting you started with your case law research. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact McIntyre Library.